Hello. In this video, we'll talk about types of organic compounds. In fact, there are a lot of different types of organic compounds, but we'll be mentioning about some of them. So, first two compounds that we'll be talking about are hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons are the compounds that contain only carbon and hydrogen. The first family is alkanes. Alkanes are the hydrocarbons which contain only single bond. So, for example, CH3, CH3. Ethane is an example for alkanes. However, in the alkenes, we do have a double bond as a functional group. So, it's going to be CH2, double bond, CH2. Alcohols. Aldehydes, ketones, esters, and carboxylic acids are organic compounds which contain an extra element which is oxygen. So they contain oxygen along with carbon and hydrogen. The functional group of alcohols is an OH group. So if you take one hydrogen out from an alkene and add an OH group, what you get is an alcohol. So CH3, CH2 with an OH group, this is an alcohol. In the next four families, aldehydes, ketones, esters, and carboxylic acids, we do have a common thing. That common thing is something that we call carbonyl group. Carbonyl group is a carbon atom with a double bonded oxygen. So depending on what you have on the left and on the right hand side of this carbon atom, this compound is going to be either an aldehyde or a ketone or an ester or a carboxylic acid. So let's see them one by one. So aldehydes do contain this carbonyl group, but carbonyl carbon also contains a hydrogen atom. So for example, CH3COH is an aldehyde. This is ethanol. Ketones, however, do contain this one. Along with these, we do have two radicals on the left and on the right hand side. Let's make a simple one. So for example, I can have a CH3 group in here, and I can have another radical like CH3 or C2H5 or whatever you wish. Esters contain carbonyl group as well. But along with that, we need to have an oxygen, and this oxygen is connected to a radical, and this carbon is also connected to a radical. So it can be something like this one. Carboxylic acid contains carbonyl group again, but it does also have an OH group connected to that. So this is already making, this carbon atom is already making one, two, three connections. So it's going to connect to another radical in here. So it can be something like CH3, C, O, Next two are amines and nitriles. These are two examples for nitrogen containing organic compounds. Amines are the ones which contain amino group as a functional group, NH2. So here we have methyl amine. Nitriles are the ones which contain a carbon atom with a triple bonded nitrogen. And this carbon atom is connected to another radical. So it's going to be methyl Nitrile. So that's all for this video. See you in the next one.